In this video, I'll be deriving the standard equation of a circle using the Pythagorean theorem, which is really just the distance formula. So we have our circle here. I just have a circle drawn somewhere on the coordinate plane. I'm going to label the center of this circle because I don't know where it is. There's no boxes or numbers here. So I'm going to label the center of this circle HK. Why am I using HK? Because those are typically the letters that we use to represent the X and Y coordinates of a circle, right? I'm sure there's a reason for it, but it's not really that important right now. So I'm going to label the center of this circle HK, and I'm going to draw a radius. I'm going to draw a radius of my circle, eh, like out here is fine. So this will be a radius, which we know is represented with R. So R is the distance from HK to this point on the circle itself. And there's nothing special about this point. It can be any point on the circle. So let's think about the definition of a circle. Definition of a circle says that it is a collection or set of all points that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. So if I start here at this point HK and I go the same distance all the way around the circle, all right, every point that lies on this line is the same distance from HK and if we put all those points together they create the actual circle itself. Right, so this purple line represents all the points that are this that are our distance away from, or I should say our units away from HK. That's how we get our circle to begin with. So, how do we find this length R? Because that's essentially um, an equation that defines a circle. Since we define it as the the distance, the uh, equal distance from the central point to all of the points on the outside of the circle. That's the only real equation we can write here, something that represents this distance r in all of the different directions. So what we're going to do is essentially just find the length, because if we can find the length, then we have the equation for any circle. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to construct a right triangle, just like we would if we wanted to find the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane. So in order to find this length r, I'm going to find the distance from uh, hk to xy here. And keep in mind that hk is the center of any circle we could draw, and xy is any point that might be on that circle. So let's go ahead and construct our uh, right triangle, because that's essentially how we find the distance between two points. So I'll do the vertical distance first since I can see that more easily. So I'm just going to use a straight edge just trying to make my picture as accurate as possible. So the vertical distance we'll do in green and then the horizontal distance we'll do in orange like this. And there is my right triangle. Any time I want to find the distance between two points, I can construct a right triangle and then use the Pythagorean theorem, which is, again, the distance formula. All right, so there's my picture. Um, and we can put a dot here just so we can talk intelligibly about it. So this distance here, all right, I'm going to slide this HK over. No matter what I do, I always put this where it's in the way. So let's move this up here. Let's call this HK. So that's the center point right there. All right, HK is the center point. So what is this distance right here? I used the wrong color. This distance here, we typically call A when we're talking about the Pythagorean theorem, but this, the X coordinate here is H and the X coordinate here is X. All right, so we're going to find the change in the horizontal distance. So that's going to be x minus h. x 
minus h. Now, of course, if there were squares here, I could just count the number of squares, but I don't have squares. I have uh, just these kind of arbitrary values here. So that's what I'm going to do. So x minus h equals this horizontal distance. And up here, the y coordinate is y. At the center, the y coordinate is k. So this is y minus k units in length. So instead of calling this a, this b, and this c, I'm calling this x minus h, I'm calling this y minus k, and I'm calling the radius r. Right? So let's get uh, an equation for r, because once we have that, we'll have the equation of our circle. So if I wanted to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle, I would again, I would use the distance formula which is this. This is the Pythagorean theorem after we solve for C. So um, I'm going to use this because C represents the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And in this case, R represents the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So instead of C, I'm going to replace that with R. And let's do it in a different color. Let's do it in pink, right? So I'm going to replace C with R. And then here, I've got a squared plus b squared. Well, a squared plus b squared is going to have to be this quantity squared plus this quantity squared. Normally, I'd call this a and I'd call this b. I'm going to call it x minus h, and I'm going to call this y minus k, and plug it into my equation here. So this would be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared, we'll extend our little square root there, and put a parenthesis. All right. Now, this looks very similar to where I'm going, right? This looks very, very similar, but I have to solve for r. Or excuse me, I have to, um, I have to uh, rearrange it. Right now, my equation is solve for r. Well, let's do this, let's do this a couple times here, just so again, so you can see the connections between the Pythagorean theorem and standard equation of a circle. So if I wanted to rearrange this so that it was in our form where we used to seeing, we would square both sides, right? And rearrange it. So if I square this, I'll have c squared. And if I uh, square a square root, these basically undo each other. So I could rearrange this to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I can do the exact same thing with this right here. Because they are, in fact, the same, same thing. So if I square a square root, that goes away. And if I uh, just rearrange it, I'll have x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equals r squared. Make that look a little more gooder. And there you go. All right now we have the standard equation of a circle. So x minus h is the horizontal distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. y minus k is the vertical distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. And r is the length of the radius. So it's the length of a hi the hypotenuse of any right triangle we could form on this circle. Okay, so even though these two quantities will change, r will remain the same because that's um, that's property of a circle. The, the, the distance is constant. So just uh, real quick before we leave here, if I were to draw another radius over here. Let's draw one. I want, I'm not I want to make it so that the radius is not as steep. Okay, so this would still be R, right? Now if I were to construct my right triangle, make sure I'm doing this on camera. So there's my horizontal distance. And my vertical distance would be right here. And that would be my 
my right triangle or my, my right angle right there. So notice if I were to construct um, if I were to construct another triangle on my circle, um, the horizontal distance and the vertical distance would change because this horizontal distance is longer than this one and this vertical distance is much shorter than this one. But R remains the same because by definition of a circle, that distance has to remain constant. Um, so it still works. This would still be um, X minus H and Y minus K here. If I drew another, another radius over here, all right, again, this would be length R and my, my horizontal distance and vertical distance would change, but this would remain the same. So essentially when we're talking about the standard of equation of a circle, we're talking about an equation that represents um, the distance away from the center no matter what point we are at on the circle itself, right? So I, I hope this has helped you and uh, that's it. That's all we have for today.